All right, now it's time to get into some stoichiometry. Because notice what it says. How many grams of hydrogen gas are produced, uh-oh, got some kind of reaction, when 15.0 grams of hydroiodic acid react with an excess of magnesium? So we got this reaction produced. These are all words that tell us, hey, there's some kind of chemical reaction. So first off, we need to write that reaction. Hydroiodic acid reacting with magnesium. So I know that HI reacts with magnesium to form, well, hydrogen gas, H2. And we know that this is a single replacement kind of redox reaction. So the magnesium is going to team up with the iodide and the hydrogen is produced. So I know that the other product is magnesium iodide. Okay. So I just need to balance it. Two H's, two I's. So if I put a two there, that should be good. All right. So now I have an excess of magnesium. So I don't have to worry about how much magnesium is floating around. So I do know that the units of my answer are grams of hydrogen. Now keep in mind, all stoichiometry problems have a similar structure. Okay. Remember, we always have some kind of mole to mole ratio. Ratio. We may start with some units, could be grams, could be milliliters, could be a uh, number of particles. Okay. All of these may start, and regardless of these, we always want to get them into moles. Regardless of how we're going to start. Then once we get into moles, we can use our mole to mole ratio. Then I can move it out into the units that I need. So in this particular problem, the one that we're working on here, we know that the question says, how many grams of hydrogen are, gas are produced when 15 grams of HI react? So we're going from grams of HI to grams of H2. So we know that when it comes time for our mole to mole ratio, we're going to have moles of HI down here on the bottom and moles H2 on the top. So let's see how that plays out. So if we're going to do that, first thing I'm going to start with is the only thing I have here is 15 grams of HI. So 15.0 grams of HI. And like we said, we need to get this into moles. First thing is into moles. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to need some help with moles to grams. So I know that iodide has a molar mass of 126.9 and hydrogen has a mass of 1.0079. So if I have 126.9, 126.9 plus 1.0079 equals the molar mass of HI is 127.91. So I'm going to say 127.91 grams of hydroiodic acid is one mole of hydroiodic acid. Remember, that's always the first step. Get it into moles. Regardless of the units you have, you're doing a stoichiometry problem, get it into moles, unless it's already in moles. Now I'm ready to use my mole to mole ratio. So like I said, look at that. Moles HI, let's give myself room for a number. Moles HI are down on the bottom. We're headed to H2, so I know that moles of H2 have to be on the top. So now I look at my balanced equation. Two moles of HI react to produce one mole of H2.
Now, I need to get to grams of H2. Oh, look at that. I just need to go moles to grams. Well, I can do that here. 1.0079 times 2. 2.01. 2.02, rather. So I know that one mole of H2 is 2.02 .02 grams of H2. Bingo. So, matter of checking through the answer. Ooh, it's kind of glary on the calculator. 15 times 2.02 .02 divided by 127.91 divided by 2 equals 0.118. Looks like we're good to three sig figs. So 0.118 grams of H2. Oops, goofy two. Real quick review. Got it into moles. Just like we said, we need to get whatever units we're going to start with into moles. Got it into moles. Then we took our mole to mole ratio and then we moved it out into the units that we needed. Double check our units, grams of HI, grams of HI, moles of HI, moles of HI, moles of H2, moles of H2, grams, we're good to go.